ഇന്നത്തെ പോലെ വാർത്താ ചാനലുകളും ന്യൂസ് റൂമുകളും അത്ര കണ്ട് സജീവമല്ലാതിരുന്ന ഒരു കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഇന്ത്യൻ ജനതയ്ക്ക് വാർത്തയെന്നാൽ ദൃശ്യ മാധ്യമമെന്നാൽ അത് ദൂരദർശനായിരുന്നു തേജേശ്വർ സിംഗ് നീതി രവീന്ദ്രൻ സൽമാ സുൽത്താൻ ഗീതാഞ്ജലി എയർ തുടങ്ങിയ വാർത്താ അവതാരകരുടെ വാക്കുകളിലൂടെ വാർത്തകൾ നമുക്ക് മുൻപിലെത്തി അവരിലൊരാൾ ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി എഴുപതുകളിലെ വാർത്താമുഖം നീതി രവീന്ദ്രൻ മാതൃഭൂമി സംഘടിപ്പിക്കുന്ന അന്താരാഷ്ട്ര സാഹിത്യോത്സവത്തിന്റെ ഭാഗമാകാൻ തിരുവനന്തപുരത്ത് എത്തിച്ചേർന്ന നീതി രവീന്ദ്രൻ മാതൃഭൂമി ന്യൂസിനോട് സംസാരിക്കുകയാണ് മാം വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ഷോ താങ്ക് യു ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വിത്ത് വിത്ത് ഗ്രേറ്റ് എക്സൈറ്റ്മെന്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹവ് കം ടു ദ സ്റ്റുഡിയോ ഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ആഫ്റ്റർ ഹാവിങ് ബിൻ ഇൻ ദി നാഷണൽ സ്റ്റുഡിയോ ഇൻ ഡൽഹി ഫോർ സോ ലോങ് ബട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഇൻ ട്രിവാൻഡ്രം ആൻഡ് ഫോർ എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് റിയലി വെരി എക്സൈറ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ മീ ഐ എം ഓണർഡ് മാഡം ഒരു ന്യൂസ് ആങ്കർ ആയിരുന്ന കാലത്ത് അന്നത്തെ കാലത്ത് സെവൻറ്റീസിൽ ഒരു വനിതയ്ക്ക് ഒരു സ്ത്രീക്ക് അത്ര എളുപ്പം ടെലിവിഷൻ സ്ക്രീൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അത്ര എളുപ്പം റീച്ച് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു മേഖലയായിരുന്നില്ല അന്നത്തെ കാലത്ത് ഒരു ന്യൂസ് ആങ്കർ എന്ന രീതിയിലേക്കുള്ള തങ്ങളുടെ ആദ്യ ചുവടുവെപ്പ് അതെങ്ങനെയായിരുന്നു ആഫ്റ്റർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കോളേജ് ഇൻ ഡൽഹി ആൻഡ് ഐ വെൻറ്റ് ക്രോസ് ടു വിയറ്റ്നാം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ വാർ സോൺ ആൻഡ് ദർ വർ ബോംസ് ഓൾ അറൗണ്ട് ദ വില്ലാസ് ആൻഡ് വി വുഡ് വേക്ക് അപ്പ് അറ്റ് നൈറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഷേക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഐ വാണ്ടഡ് to go to hanoi i was in saigon with my parents wanted to go to saigon up to hanoi where uh, lots of things were happening as well but they said okay if you have a press pass we can take you but you can't come just as a a student you know so then the moment i came back to india i don't know if you remember mr madhavan kutti madhavan kutti took me to all india radio he took me to uni and i got a job with both of them. after the audition they called me to read the news on diwali night obviously somebody had uh, cancelled out taken leave so they were left without anybody and straight away without any training without any experience without familiarizing uh, what one what should do or could do and those days it was a single reader with black and white and uh, not much of uh, technical support in the sense we didn't have a lot of films and coverages like you have these days so it was basically reading the news madam or a news anchor and on the nilayile kadannu varuna kaalakhattile you people don't have any role models right ningal swayam oru model ay maarenda kaalam aayirunnu adu how you become a model yourself we were the pioneers right so there was uh, before we started there was hardly any any television in this country and so we had no competition either um today i think one of the problems or maybe it's not a problem but there is so much competition and so much stress on the ratings of each each channel that people cannot be themselves we had our individual styles our individual way of uh, communicating and basically i feel that television is really an intimate medium you're speaking to somebody in a in a bedroom perhaps the television may be in the bedroom it may be in the drawing room very rarely you find it in a in a big hall so for that matter you have to speak you have to communicate with somebody who's next to you why shout at them so that's one of the main reasons i i really don't appreciate being shouted at these days anathe kalatha journalism modern time la journalism adu engane verdirikkam madathinte oru kaalchpaadilla adine engane namukku differentiate cheyya you see i worked with uh, with two different uh, organizations one was united news of india where you could go out get your story feed it in and send it to all the newspapers uh, through the wires the other was doordarshan which was actually controlled by the government so much of the news which we highlighted was something which the government would approve of and i was i was entitled to change the language and change something but the basic sense of the news was uh, was what the government had to say like for instance when uh, uh, when mrs gandhi lost the election we all knew but it was not reported till the next morning when mrs gandhi was assassinated there were again government uh, rules and regulations so it was not reported till the evening at 6 o'clock so these sort of things they were careful about and i 
today I feel that perhaps that little bit of control has got its advantages because these days the freedom of the press is being taken to heights which sometimes I feel is not correct. Okay, maybe we were brought up in a time and a generation when there were controls, but those controls also helped, it helped keep the nation a more peaceful state. Today, everybody is getting the news so fast. Before it happens, you're, you're aware of what's happening. Is it a good thing? It's something that we should, I think, debate. Do you think early days in a news anchors, journalists, have a little bit of freedom in their work. But nowadays, the political situation is getting worse, right? The death of Gauri Lankesh. You know, still the investigation is going on. We don't know who is the killer, who, who is the assassinator, who is the murderer. But do you think, in the time of the Madhima Pravartagar, Pravartana Swadhandriyam, Vokiyan Ola Swadhandriyam, Hanikya Pedadundu. Avarka, that Swadhandriyam, Lebhikyada Pogadundu, in the Madam Karadundu. See, in, in our days, we could move out in the middle of the night. I used to go to radio or TV or whatever, late at night. I used to drive alone. I used to drive a bug fiat, which had, uh, once I had four flats in one evening, that sort of thing. And there wasn't a problem about danger, security, people attacking you, nothing like that. Today, I think perhaps things are totally different. I would uh, warn my, my daughters not to go alone at night to certain secluded areas. And so far as the media is concerned, I think the political influences have crept in far too much. You know, you want to say something, we have always had that freedom of speech. And that definitely must not be curtailed. Must not be curtailed. One Kala Katatila, Uru Janade, Munile, Varta, Avadarege, Nutangal. Malayaligal Ulpadeula, Urupad Alkaya, admire either in the Victor. Pakshi Malayaligal, Malayaligal, Kudal Alagal Kavarila. Madam Uru by birth. ഒരുമലയാളികളിലോട്ടുള്ള <laughs> And uh, I married him now almost 50 years ago. So every time we went home, and Malayalatili Pariyo. Enda Parina, Epa Parina, other in Kormila, Pache, Malayalatili Pariyo. Elarkum Sneha. Thank you. Ma'am, it's a privilege to get you here. Anyway, thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us to share your views to the, uh, the, the viewers of Madhra Bhumi News. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for calling me. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you. Thank, Thank you. you.